program is supported by Bazaar Supermarkets. I'm Dr. Irina Kols, and today we have a special guest, Dmitry Drybinsky. How are you, Dmitry? I'm excellent. How are you? Wonderful, wonderful. Great, great. Today we'll be celebrating Independence Day. The 4th of July is a great holiday in America and for Americans. And traditionally, it is barbecue, right? right. Traditionally, people are going to, to make Solo barbecue. Grill. Yes. Yes, and Dmitry, he is a grill pro, <laughs> and I'm not. I'm not grill pro. I'm a low GI pro. <laughs> so, so today we'll make something yummy, delicious, matches for barbecue, and good for you. So, what are we starting with? We start with the meat, and believe it or not, we can. Make, we, we're going to make burgers. Yes. And we have a lot of stuff on the table, but um, honestly, all we need is a good meat. Oh, yes. I, we I can hear make, you. <laughs> we can make burgers without salt, without pepper, without eggs, without anything. Really? But first, yes. But first, we have to get good quality meat. Yes, because makes you sense. can't make meat better by eating the salt. You can't make beef better by eating... I don't know, eggs, yes, uh, yes. you start with a good meat. So Under. the first thing you have to do is go to the supermarket or go to your local uh, meat store. And yeah, we are supported with Bazaar supermarket, yes. so we yeah. got or go wonderful, to the bazaar. very, very yeah. fresh, yeah. very fresh meat. Yeah, you can go to Bazaar and get good quality meat. The best meat for the burgers, um, what people suggest, is 20% fat. So yes. don't go uh, with 10% fat because the burger, uh, 1st of July is only probably a day when we can eat fat, right? We no, don't no, eat fat every can, day. Uh, fat but, is okay, fat is okay. <laughs> all right, okay. So we try to eat healthy, but for the burgers, we have to have fat uh, in the meat. Okay. So 20% fat uh, would be the best. Um, and uh, the next thing we we can play around we can add stuff uh, we can make it what you call mm -hmm. uh, healthy burger we can yes. make unhealthy burgers no, no? okay <laughs> all right but uh yeah let's make healthy burgers again we have meat yes and uh, i have my own way to make burgers but i think today we're going to adjust a little bit yes today we are going to adjust and the uh, not use because, some ingredients that usually because are be, used. before we had conversation and I brought breadcrumbs. Yes, and, and yes. What did yes. you say? No. Yes, I I said no to breadcrumbs. Okay, and we're going to put breadcrumbs away. Usually, burgers are with graham crumbs, but there is a great way to change it and use uh, mushrooms. Mushrooms are great substitute for graham crumbs in uh, all. Uh, and such product like hamburgers or stuff. Let's check out. Yes. So you're going to start with the mushrooms? Yes. All right, excellent. So um, we'll start with the mushrooms and we're going to add mushrooms to the meat. So this is pound, right? It's about one pound of meat. It's about yes. one pound. Yeah, so one pound of meat. I great like four mushrooms it will be nice yep and, uh, one famous cook said the recipe is art <coughs> is art of adjustment so oh. any recipe you can take and you can adjust to your own taste wow so, i like it uh, <coughs> yes absolutely what i always do i read the recipe put it away and I try my own <laughs> way to cook stuff and um, honestly just don't be afraid to add spices to add uh, mushroom instead of breadcrumbs no, don't uh, be afraid this, yep. is, this is a key <laughs> yep low jai key okay mushrooms are ready so what yep. I put them here you put some here yep And we also have Worcestershire sauce. We're going to add a little bit 
Is it okay? There's no yeah, sugar Yeah, it's wonderful. Here. Yeah, I, I like actually the taste and it goes okay. very well, yes. Yeah, I think it's enough. Yeah. Uh, egg is optional, but let's add the egg. It's what I usually do. Let's do not experiment today. Today we'll do... <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> the, 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 yeah, we'll I know fine. you. I know you'll manage this. Yep, I have cayenne pepper, just a little bit. Dash. We're going to add some salt. And we're going to add the garlic. If you want to help me and if you can just clean the garlic. Garlic? No. No. <laughs> you don't want to? I usually ask for help for this. Okay. No. Do you have yeah. something to do? Yeah. Because yeah. Uh, and we, we need some side dish for this, right? So I was thinking about uh, vegetables. Yeah, we'll do the vegetables. I just want to add garlic to here. Ah, okay. The pro. Thank you. Knows how to. When people oh, call me pro, you... thank you for calling me pro. I'm actually just, you know, I'm home cook. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it, it is good to be a great home cook. <laughs> call me pro when we're done. All right. Okay. When we taste the burger, and Deal. if you like it, call me pro. Okay. okay. <laughs> and uh, I got to mention that uh, Dmitry uh, is a leader of huge Russian community Facebook group. There are 2,500 people, I think, there, right? Huge, yep. huge community, very popular. And uh, it calls Olivia. So, so it's uh, people change recipes, they exchange ideas. Very good, very popular group. Yep, thank you. It's a great group. Uh... Most of the members are Russian-speaking people, but uh, we don't discriminate by no. language. Yeah, no, of course so, not. And when I travel, I love to travel, um, oh, yeah. and when I have a chance to meet uh, owners of the small restaurants oh, or the, the meat shops, I always invite them to the group, and they have people from Amsterdam, wow. uh, the owner of the... Uh, why? Very I nice know little that. shop. He's selling oh. sausages, but uh, you probably don't see many posts from those people because, again, yeah. when they go to the group and they see a Russian language, mostly, yeah. mostly Russian. But in case if I have questions, at least I know he's there. I see. All right. Do you need the second glove? No. No, one no. is enough. One is enough. Okay. We want to taste the meat. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. All right. I think we're ready to form the burgers. Wow. Looks nice and fluffy and yep. like light. Yeah, it's very light. All right. And... Um, we use meat today, but I also like um, lamb burgers. So you can, instead of the beef, you can use lamb, uh, oh. which makes a little bit different taste. But oh, I, I, right. I, I, yes. I love lamb. Yeah. Oh, yes, yes, yes. 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 So, you can so do my... chicken, you can do whatever. No, no. this is, this is, like, this All right. is traditional. Traditional. Yes. Okay, we're doing traditional. Um, so now, uh, one of the things you have to remember, you don't put meat on the cold grill. Never. So any kind of meat, before you cook the meat, you really have to heat the uh, grill up mm -hmm. because we need high temperature. Okay. Um, so we have a grill. So now we have uh, around 500 something for it. And we're going to form the burgers. No, oh, this is good. You can check the temperature in this grill, in this kind of grill. Uh, like you can do it yes. too in a coal grill. Yes, you can. Sometimes it's close to reality, sometimes far from reality. <laughs> but uh, I know it's hot. <laughs> Great. 
So, um, we start with kind of ball shape. So it's what we're, we're going to do yeah. with the burger. Wow. Then we create kind of um, we flat. Look, they're not falling bit. apart at all. Like it is not. It, it is holds so... well. Yeah, it holds wow, well. Wow, wonderful. And what we're also going to do, we're going to do little dent in the middle. And the reason is, if you don't make this dent and you cook burger on the grill, the burger is going to get fluffy. Oh. Um, there is whole science behind cooking the burgers and we're not going to get into like fine details, but trust me, make a little kind of push here in the middle. Okay. And this way, uh, by the end of the cooking, you're not going to get bowl or same like uh, shape as we st the, that we started from. So we we'll make a little dent in the middle. So we're going to make a few of them. You can do this by hand or you can, uh, I'll show you, I have burger press. Burger press? Yep. Wow. The only thing I don't really like about burger press press you're really stuck by like size it's really like big so when people design this little burger press they make this little indent in the middle in order to make uh, this little push in the middle of the burger so uh, the way this works you just put meat here and we have a little lid and you just push Ooh. It's okay if it goes out, you just yeah. remove it around. Wow! So you have this beautiful, Unbelievable. Look. beautiful... Oh, really? It's... So you have it done. Yeah. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. But again, nothing wrong with uh, making burgers yeah, with your hands. So let's make two small for the kids. Okay. And probably two large for adults. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we'll have one more for the kids. <laughs> <laughs> so it, it fits there in this yep. amount. Yep. Yeah, cool. these are beautiful, like yep. classic. So, you have Wonderful, the look at this. So, yep, make life much easier. And then you'll put them all together there, yes? Not like you make it and place here, uh, make it I, and place here. I usually put them all together and the reason is I want them uh, to be done at the same time. Right. So you don't want to cook one burger and then yeah. five other True. people waiting for, for their turn. <laughs> All right, so we make a little dent. Yes. And so uh, we have all our burgers shaped and we're ready to put them on the grill. So I need a little help. You're going to open the grill. Yes. And I'm going to put them on. Oh, this is pretty big grill also. Yep. Nice. I love the sound of <laughs> the meat and the burger. Yeah. And sound and smell. <laughs> wow. Can't wait. And now we close the lid. Yes. All right. And remember I said I love different gadgets? Yes. One more. I love thermometer. I just love my thermometer. Why? Because I want to make sure my burger cooked right to the right temperature. Let's put this way. Good. So what I do, this little guy. Red. Yep, it's red. Today we have all. What we do, White, we insert the probe to somewhere to the middle. And by doing that, we can 
look at the temperature and make sure we don't overcook the burger. Oh yeah. So the meat, usually we cook the burgers up to, I would say 155, 160. I know, for example, my wife, she loves well done meat, <laughs> which is, I believe, okay. Many so people some, like. some people like well cooked meat. So you well, like, well, and you like what? Medium? I like medium rare. Oh. So, uh, well cooked, we know 165, uh, medium, I would say between 150 and 155. So we just look at the temperature and again, the reason why I love this thermometer, we don't overcook meat, which right. is very important. I want juicy burger. Wow. I don't and want so to. And so you just wait and I just wait. like look and when it is 150? No, it, uh, first of all, open. we need to flip the burger over. Yes. Uh, we don't wait until 150. I would say we wait until right. 120, something like that. So we want to make sure we we'll flip the burgers before they cooked uh, right. through. Good. And do we have time to make some side dish? Uh, we do. The, maybe we'll make some little breaks to look at the burgers. Make Absolutely. sure we don't overcook them. Oh, look at this juice. Yep, the juice is here. So it's time to flip them over. We're getting there. Oh, very quick actually. They, they, yep. They're getting ready very quick. Do you want maybe knife to help? No? It's 128. That's all right. We're in good shape. I mean, there's no specific rule you have to cook up to one sodium and then yes, flip absolutely. them over uh again and this is only one side it's yeah. art of adjustment all right absolutely <laughs> i like this we're just, we're just we're just and again we pick the largest burger and we insert it again and we wait so we're checking the temperature and uh 155 here we can check another one It's 157, 160, so we're in good shape. So we're pretty safe to move them from the grill to the plate. Still, it is very quickly, actually. Yep. Yeah, it's very fast. You don't have to spend a lot of time uh, cooking them. Cool. cool. <laughs> so we have the main ingredient for yes. the burger. For the burger. So technically we can start eating. If you don't eat bread, if you don't eat... Some people don't eat vegetables. We right. can eat burgers. Right. But <laughs> it is not burgers without bread. But right. we don't okay. eat bread. All right. So a great substitute for regular bread is sprouted bread. And I always send you seen already um, videos with uh, where I use uh, Ezekiel bread uh, because it's made of sprouts so it is kind of like vegetable the glycemic index is only 36 so we want to keep the tradition we want to eat it like this so right. when you use this you are and you what are I usually do it. I just take them and put on the hot grill like this all together yeah we can make all so together. we have what four just for 30 seconds don't overcook them because um, you don't want to make them look like charcoal <laughs> i see so meanwhile we need to cut tomatoes yep to you cut inside. tomatoes oh beautiful and what's great about burgers you can experiment with anything you can put cheese you can put any kind of vegetables yeah, you can put work. ketchup you can put whatever you like mushrooms anything you want yeah it's good it should be seen right yes but usually i i, I see that people 
put the matrix, something green like this, right? Yep. And, uh, and what? And onion. Onion Goes works very well. So it's like saying, make me burger with everything. <laughs> so, and everything could be anything. Right. Can it be vegetarian burger? It yes. It's not a burger. Honestly, I don't have experience <laughs> with vegetarian burgers. But actually, yes, I just thought about it. I never thought. Because uh, it can be cauliflower patties inside or some vegetables. Yes, probably. It's Meatless. Possible. You call them meatless, yes. yep. Yes, if, if people for some reason don't eat it. You know what? I love burgers with salmon. So you can make burger with a fish. Never ever tried, yep. but I believe yep. it's good. <laughs> I think it's good enough. And again, just watch them out. You don't want to overcook them. Now we're going to put everything together. Oh, yes. It's the easiest part. And you can call your kids, and kids can do that. And uh, just don't get kids too close to the hot yes, grill. Uh, but otherwise, they can put the burgers together. And usually, what I do with my family, I just put everything on one plate: vegetable, vegetables on one plate, uh, oh. meat on another. So kids come together and like, put make, whatever they make, make their yeah. own burgers. So that's cool. Yep. All right. So we start with the bread. Do you want to put some? Mayo? Yes, I unfortunately I can't find ketchup sugar free. It's 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 a big problem. So, but I I know the mayo which is sugar free and all starches free. So I use it, and uh, if you don't mind, we'll use it today. Rest. I don't mind. Again, we just right. This is taste of change. That's why. Exactly. It looks amazing. I would it like that. It is, yes, yeah. but it is not a burger. We <laughs> need it's a not burger. burger. It's not a burger yet. <laughs> so um, the next, there is no specific order, so we can put whatever. Let's put the meat. Uh, we put some tomato. We put some onion. How does it look? And yeah. this one, right? And we need to cover, exactly. What do I think? I think this is perfect. <laughs> uh, we can cut it in half, whatever you prefer. Sometimes people just so like to eat like this or Oi. So here's what we have inside. And again, feel free to use more vegetables. Um, Wonderful. Feel free to use more vegetables, different kind of vegetables. But uh, the idea is, again, I just want to repeat myself, get good quality meat, yes. good, good quality bread, and a lot of vegetables. And different colors, I would say. Wonderful. Green, we have green, we have uh, red. Beautiful. And... We're ready to eat. We are ready to eat. And the best, don't be afraid. Don't think that your sugar will jump up. Don't be afraid of gaining weight. This kind of burger is good for everyone. Well, you were watching Taste of Change with Dr. Irina Kolos and real Dmitry Drybinsky. And uh, the program supported by Bazaar Supermarkets and uh, Acton TV. Org. So if you want more recipes, more videos, visit the website weightdestiny.com or actontv.org. See you later.